I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer. Today I'm going for another walk. And this walk, oh, I've just gone into the shade. Sorry about that. Let me get back into the sun over here so that you can see me a bit clearly. This is a walk back at Plumpton, as you probably saw then from the beginning. Um, I came to Plumpton, well, this is Plumpton Green actually. This is obviously the cricket field that I'm standing on and it's right adjacent to the railway station. Now I came here um, well, a few days ago with Steve Needham and we looked at the land which is just to the north of where I'm standing where they Eton College um, have the idea that they want to build 3,250 houses and create effectively a small town that will link South Chailey, East, Ch uh, East Chiltington and Plumpton Green pretty much together by infilling the farmland. So I wanted to come back and just explore more of this area. I'm trying to explore more of East Sussex anyway. So I thought this would be a good place. So the walk I'm doing today, while not really going in through the land that Eton College will be using, it's more of um, the local area. And I'm aiming to take a walk from Plumpton Green up to East Chiltington and then loop round. I went to the church fairly recently, you may remember, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So that's really where the building works will be um, for 20 years, putting in new homes if it happens. Um, and then we've got the railway line and then I believe, oh here comes the train actually, let's see if we can capture that whilst we're here. Here it comes. And I believe south of that, um, the railway line is the um, South Downs National Park. But anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on with the walk and see what we can see. Looks like I've come out into some, into a large wheat field. I don't know how many acres this is. It seems to stretch for ages. So maybe it's uh, 20 acres, something like that. Who knows? Um, it definitely looks like wheat. I think if I've got my crop identification uh, working in the old head. And it's, uh, it's clearly this whole area is farmland. Ooh. That's interesting, there's a level crossing here. I wonder if that's where I've got to go. There's a, I say a level crossing, there is a, a crossing. Oh, and I think there's a, another footpath that goes that way, northwards, um, up towards uh, the farm, which I forget, North Barn Farm, I think it might be called, which is just, just up ahead, which again will be all of the housing. So I need to go and have a look at my map to see where I do cross over and what will take me to um, East Chiltington Church. I think I go straight along, but we'll have a look. train's just gone by and then it goes quite peaceful distant cries from I don't know whether it's the tennis courts or a school back towards Plumpton Green but we're back out now barely anyone I've not seen anyone one dog walker just at the start of this video and then all this expanse of farmland England is a farming country it always has been a farming country yes we've industrialized and yes we are trying to it seems when you look at it we're trying to build on every damn last piece of countryside farmland that we have i don't know why we 
we need our farmland. It's a passionate thing for me. And I've said this before, I would do, dearly love to own two or three acres and farm myself. I'm looking for land and uh, it, the price of acreage down here in the southeast where my roots are is just too expensive. People say, oh, but we're not, uh, we never have been sustainable here with farming. We have to import it. And well, that may be true to a degree, but the more we build on the farmland, the less sustainable we'll ever be. What has made this country something that people want to come and see is, I guess it's nostalgia. It's that wonderful, checkered pattern countryside that we used to have that is fast disappearing. It's the next crossing over the railway that I need to get to so that's where we go next and then we'll make our way towards East Chiltington Church. Back in open country now, across the railway as you saw. There's a lot of water around here, must be coming off the downs. I guess a spring, probably a spring or part of a spring that maybe originally is why perhaps Saxons settled in Plumpton area. They would have needed water. So anyway, um, nearly at the church, which is one of my destinations, and then I will loop back. Um, so I'm just crossing this rather large, interesting field which has thistles and grasses and all sorts of clover and various other things, dogwort by the looks of things. Um, and lots of bees and butterflies fluttering around, which is fantastic to see. I can, and I can tell you, the sun is getting up. I haven't gone early in the morning as I often do. So it's probably about, I don't know, 11 o'clock-ish. And so we, we're getting to a much hotter sun. I should have brought some water with me. Mind you, there's plenty over there. Oh, well, looks like I've made it back back to the church here at East East Chiltington and there's a, a lovely little chair, a little seat, a little bench to have a rest on. So I'm going to have a rest on that, look at the map and then see the next part of the journey. But it's so nice to come back and see this very beautiful rural church. It's lovely.
the last part of my journey is through this rather lovely woodland. It'll take me back to the road which leads from the downs up to Plumpton Green Railway Station where I parked my van. So I shall plod on. It's been a fantastic walk. There are other footpaths here and at times I've had to stop and consult the map really carefully because some of the footpaths don't seem to be marked on the map and so as a result on one occasion it sent me completely into the wrong place but luckily I was uh, diligent enough to realise and quickly turned round so I think there's a fork ahead if I've got this right and I should turn right but if I don't it'll still take me to the road either way. Just get off the road for a second because it's a country road that I'm now on and it comes up to Plumpton. Um, behind me actually, behind that hedge is the race course actually and then the station so I've only got a few meters to go so not far at all but it's it's quite a busy road I can tell you cars are whizzing by it goes quiet and you think it's okay and there's nowhere really to walk so you've got to be a bit careful if you're doing this route but anyway um, I'm virtually back so that's where I'll stop for convenience thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow there we are some vehicles uh, don't forget to follow like and subscribe uh, become a patron support what I do help me put diesel in the van and I can get out and make more of these delightful videos so give us a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one take care bye bye